Hey guys, Carolina Vanetti here with Red Carpet Report, and today I'm on set interviewing the cast of The Fosters. Uh, so I love your character in season Thank you. three. You bring a lot of spitfire to the show. What can we expect moving forward now that you're moving in with The Fosters and with Michael? Um, I would just say you're going to really see his true colors. AJ, he's a good kid. He isn't one that's easily trustworthy, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, trusting of others. So it may seem like he has some shady stuff going on, but it's really just him unsure of his surroundings. So just, there's some surprises. Okay. Yeah. But uh, all in all, it's going to be a great story. After watching last night's Father's Day episode, I felt like AJ is going to get Sweetheart Callie into a lot of trouble. Why do you think that? He AJ's trouble with a capital T. You got to watch. You just got to watch and see. I don't know. <laughs> but you said that he's really a sweet kid. Under he me. is a sweet kid. He's a good kid. You know, a product of his environment. He doesn't mean any harm. He just, like everyone, he just wants to be loved. Sure. And when you don't receive love, you, we tend to lash out sometimes or act in ways that are inappropriate. Okay. But all we want is love and acceptance. So that's AJ's end goal, is just love and acceptance? I think that's everyone's I end love goal. it. Yeah. As an actor, how do you feel about this role and getting to come into the Fosters on season three? How's it been fitting in with the cast? It's been incredible. It's been, I have zero complaints. Like, it's just, it's like I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. This is my first big job. I have a job, which is wonderful. I'm employed. Congratulations. Um, that's a, thank you very much. It means a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm just soaking every minute up. And I don't want it to end. That's wonderful. And then we talked a little bit earlier, and you were telling me that you want to go to New York this summer. Yeah, for yeah, some I do. For some passion projects. For some passion projects, for some studio projects, for some plays. But just really, I think more than anything, to network within that indie, artistic, TV community over there, film world. Because there's a lot going on. And um, I want to get in with the people that are my age, a little bit older, a little bit younger, that are on the varsity team out there. And just keep going up with them. I love it. I love that mentality. What Now that you have this job with ABC Family and you get to stretch your roots and what you've been working on, are there any roles that you've been eyeing that you would really like to try, like any genres you're looking into? Mm, not right now, no. Right now, I'm just really grateful for um, being on this show. And, um, you know, whatever comes next comes next. But right now, I'm just happy to have a job. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you like to do for fun when you're not on the set? I come to set when I'm not on set. This is fun for me. This is the most fun I have. I don't have a life. But no, um, I, I play basketball. Basketball. I play basketball. I work out a lot. I like being outside, cooking, watching movies, fishing. Now, originally being an East Coast boy from D.C., DC. how much are you loving the beach here? Have you become a beach boy? I don't boy? really go to the beach. I don't no? like sand. You, no, you I like really sand? don't like because it gets in the car. It gets everywhere. I don't like sand. The beach is cool, and it's always cooler at the beach. Yes. I like, I like it a little bit hotter. You know, it can okay. get cold at the beach, and you don't know that coming from so the So shooting coast. here in the valley is perfect for you. Perfect, yeah. Maybe if they had beaches in the valley. You could build one. I don't want to build a beach in the valley. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fit. No, nah, but nah, I'm not a beach guy. I like lakes. You're I like lake lakes, Do you yeah. like lake sports, too? No, I don't like getting in the water. No, because you can't see. In the lake. So, you know, I really, I'm a big believer in monsters and stuff. And I saw Lake Placid. I, I just saw the trailer for Lake Placid when I was a kid. And I said, I'm never getting in the lake again. So, <laughs> if you ever do a horror movie, I'm going to know that you're not acting. You are genuinely in fear of whatever. I did a horror movie. The first feature I did is called All Cheerleaders Die. And um, <laughs> I'm in it. And I'm a killer in it. So, I didn't have to be scared. Sure. If I was on the other end, you're right. It would be completely real. But watch the movie, and you can, you know, you can make your own assessment on that. I love it. Um, <laughs> you're cracking Am I me saying up all here. the wrong things? No, you're just cracking me up. Okay. You don't like sand. You don't like water. No. But you love the heat in the valley. I think you're yeah. the only one. It's weird. It's weird. I like it. Um, so now coming on the show and being a new actor, this being your first big job, do you feel like the cast has really taken you in? Are you learning a lot from them? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the biggest, like, positive about this experience so far. It's just been, it's been nothing but love. 
Mm -hmm. So, I mean, nothing but reassurance, love, and support. That's okay. really been all it is. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, any pointers you would give to actors when you get your first job, now that you've learned that you've started this one? Mm -hmm. um, show up on time, meaning 30 minutes early. Know your lines. And just be ready. If, if it's TV, be ready to change like this. Okay. And just say yes. Just, just say, say yes. yes. Don't don't worry about it unless it's something that you feel you're being disrespected by. Just say yes and trust. I love trust. it. Yes and trust. Yes and trust. And Thirty minutes early is on time. Thirty minutes early is on time. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos and leave me a comment below today, letting me know who your favorite character is on the Fosters.